These are the coordinates for the next clue. They are. Spoiler warning. Captain Michael Burnham and the USS Discovery get one step closer to discovering the progenitor's riches in Star Trek. Discovery Season 5, Episode 3, Janal. But they are unaware that Maul and Lack are plotting nefarious schemes to hinder them. In Star Trek, Discovery Season 5, Episode 3, the action is divided between the planet Trill and Commander Rayner and Ambassador Sara's struggles acclimating to their new roles. Cleveland Booker and Captain Burnham both aced a test that Janal devised. In the 24th century, Janal was the host of a Trill symbiont and a member of a group of scientists that included the Romulan physician Velik, who was hiding the progenitor's technology in order to safeguard the galaxy. Janal took over Dr. Hugh Culber's body through a trill ceremony, and the trill made sure Burnham and Book were worthy of discovering the progenitor's riches. However, it's possible that Maul and Lack have set up a trap for the crew of Discovery. Would you just see an enemy? Or would you try to connect? Subscribe to Movie Spy for more twist videos. At the conclusion of Star Trek Discovery Season 5, Episode 3, what did Maul do to Adira? It looks like Maul and Lack are moving on the USS Discovery. Once Janal had left Dr. Culber's body and he, Cleveland Booker, and Captain Burnham had gone back to the USS Discovery, Maul had surreptitiously attached a gadget to ensign Adira Tal's arm. Burnham forewarned the Trills that Maul and Lack would arrive in search of the clue concealed on Trill, but Guardian she was certain that Trill would repel any hostile action. However, the Trill had no idea that a human maul would sneak in during their right and plant something on the young ensign of Discovery. The tiny gadget maul had hidden on Adira's arm suddenly disappeared. However, there are a few theories as to what it might have been. The gadget might be a tracker of some kind, and because Maul is aware that Burnham discovered the clue on Trill, she might be making sure that she and her partner, Lack, can track the USS Discovery to its next destination. The gadget might possibly be a weapon that renders Adira helpless, or some sort of communicator. Adira might be able to beam to Lack S ship and be taken prisoner there if it's a little transporter. Maul, who most likely spent Star Trek, Discovery hiding out in the Trill Tunnels, overheard Adira talking to their love interest, Grey Tal, about their decision to split up. Young and naive, Adira is the perfect target for Maul and Lack to implant a device. The romance between Adira and Grey on Star Trek, Discovery might be coming to an end. Their separation also makes for an intriguing comparison with the relationship of Maul and Lack, who, unlike the young Trill and Ensign, are not only lovers but are also dedicated to one another and travel together. Everything the progenitor's treasure was revealed in Star Trek. Discovery Season 5, Episode 3 Great precautions were taken to safeguard the age-old ability to produce life. Janal offered a plethora of fresh details regarding what transpired to the progenitor's treasure during the events of the chase in Star Trek, The Next Generation. Janal claims that in the 24th century, Dr. Velik and Janal were part of a covert team of six scientists, Federation, and non-Federation that was put together by the President of the United Federation of Planets, who may have been Juresh Inyo, Herschel Sparber, from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. After years of studying the message from the progenitors, they discovered the old technology in the deep space sector. When they attempted to activate it, one of the scientists sadly perished. Rather than give the treasure to the Federation, the scientists chose to conceal it. The Alpha Quadrant is now engaged in Star Trek Deep Space Nine's Dominion War, and anyone may be a changeling. Janal and his associates struck a deal, redacted themselves from all databases, and lied to the Federation about the treasure. Protecting the progenitor's technology became a lifelong mission for the scientists, who eventually developed a set of hints that they believed would make the prize worthy of possession to whoever could uncover it. Commander Paul Stamets, Anthony Rapp, of the USS Discovery, in the in the meantime, figured out how to decipher Dr. Velik's Romulant tricorder and discovered more about the progenitor's riches. The uses of the billion-year-old technology of the progenitor's thrilled Stamets. It was possible for the progenitors to design new life forms, accelerate evolution, and modify ecosystems. Stamets went on, theoretically, it might also be able to reanimate dead organisms if it can create life. Sarth has a lot to learn about politics and love after making a faux pas when announcing his engagement to Trina. While the recently appointed ambassador Saru did well in his first delegation meeting regarding the growing threat posed by the Breen, he erred in declaring his engagement to President Trina, Tara Roslang. Duvin, Victor Andres Trelli's Turgeon, Trina S. political advisor, started to worry about how it would appear if the president of an Ivar sided with the Kelpian ambassador, particularly if their interaction became known to the public. After hearing what Duvin had to say, Saru became reluctant to tell Trina that he was engaged. In the end, Trina helped Sarp see that announcing their engagement publicly is preferable to leaking it out, which could give the impression that the pair was concealing something scandalous. Saru acknowledged his lack of experience in both politics and romance, but Trina is shrewd enough to make them both look good.
good. The wedding between Saru and Trina is set to happen at some point in Star Trek Discovery Season 5. Commander Raynor will find it difficult to blend in with the USS Discovery crew because Raynor isn't trying to socialize and make friends on the ship. Captain Burnham gave Raynor the order to meet and establish contact with the USS Discovery's crew when he was demoted to commander and appointed as the ship's new first officer. However, Raynor's primary focus was on tracking down Maul and Lack. As a result, he only had brief, hostile meetings with the Discovery crew, which greatly infuriated Lieutenant Sylvia Tilly, Mary Wiseman. Despite paying attention and making perceptive notes about every Starfleet officer, Raynor was unable to establish any genuine rapport with any of the staff members of Discovery. Tilly was correct when she pointed out that Commander Raynor, having just been demoted and moved to a new ship, made up for his lack of experience by behaving haughtily to conceal his struggles. To the credit of Star Trek Discovery Season 5, it seems more plausible that Commander Raynor would not fit in right away on Discovery than that the Kellerun Starfleet officer would be greeted with open arms. The crew of the USS Discovery will take a while to appreciate Raynor and vice versa. Captain Burnham might not be happy with how her new number one distanced himself from her friends and family on the disco. Captain Burnham is seeking something greater than the treasure of his forebears. Michael needs the answers to some important questions. Captain Burnham acknowledged at the beginning of Star Trek Discovery Season 5, Episode 2, Under the Twin Moons, that she used to find meaning in her missions but that she is now looking for something more. A deeper significance. Janal evaluated this regarding Burnham on Trill, and Michael informed Dr. Hugh Culber of the same. For Burnham, the progenitor's treasure contains more than just technology that has the power to change the Federation's course. It might also hold the key to unlocking Michael's quest for the meaning of existence itself. Interestingly, Cybok, Lawrence Luckenbill, a member of Captain Burnham's adopted Vulcan family, is somewhat reflected in her spiritual journey in Star Trek. Discovery Season 5. In the fabled realm of Shakari, Spock's criminal elder half brother search for God in Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. Although Cybok's journey was motivated by his own conceit, the Vulcan had a sincere desire to glimpse the holy and receive guidance from it. Michael has different questions than Cybok had, and it's possible that Captain Burnham's investigation is a reflection of Star Trek. Discovery searching within for meaning beyond the show's action adventure formula. Where will Discovery find the next hint to the progenitor's treasure? The treasure quest may pause for the purpose of Discovery. It's interesting that the conclusion of Star Trek Discovery Season 5, Episode 3, doesn't reveal where the USS Discovery will go after leaving Trill. Dr. Culber was informed by Captain Burnham that although the clue Janal provided them was being examined, it pointed to the Tsenkithi system. But while diplomats work out the legality of entering the Tsenkithi system, red tape stymies Discovery. This would mean that the treasure quest in Star Trek Discovery Season 5's Episode 4, Face the Strange, is coming to an end. End. But whatever Maul placed on Adira is sure to become the next catastrophe that Captain Burnham will have to deal with. With seven episodes remaining in Season 5 of Star Trek, Discovery and three more pieces needed to finish the map leading to the progenitor's riches, Captain Burnham's search may take an unusual turn.